clamor for Yogi model in Karnataka. A section of the BJP cadre in Karnataka has angrily called for strict enforcement of the Yogi model in the state. This comes in the wake of the murder of a BJP worker, Praveen Nettaru, in Bellari of Dakshina Kannada district, allegedly by members of SDPI and PFI. Two suspects, Shafiq and Zakir, have been arrested. Interestingly enough, according to press reports, Shafiq and Praveen were good friends. Shafiq's father is also believed to have been an employee at Praveen's poultry shop. The murder is being probed by the National Investigation Agency, since there could be a terrorist angle to it. Judging from the sales at Praveen's funeral and subsequent developments in Dakshina Kannada and everywhere else, there is simmering anger among BJP workers about the absence of protection for them and the impunity with which the jihadists act. For some time now, Workers of the BJP and activists of other Hindu organizations have been calling for a ban on PFI because of the violent nature of its activities and its alleged involvement in terrorist plots. The center has so far not conceded to this demand, not only by BJP workers of Karnataka, but a large section of the intelligentsia across the country. Why the NDA government led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been ignoring this demand to ban PFI remains a mystery. Right after Praveen Nittaru's murder, hundreds of BJP workers in Karnataka sent in their resignation, expressing their anguish and frustration at the indifference of the party leadership and the absence of a sense of security to them. Nothing can be more damaging for a party since it acts as the sole conscience keeper of the Hindu interests and more importantly, because it is the BJP in power in Karnataka. BJP leaders were heckled and their cars were stopped by the party workers at Praveen's funeral who raised slogans calling for the yogi model of governance in Karnataka. BJP state president and MP Nalin Kumar Katil, who arrived in his car to pay his last tributes to Praveen, was stopped by an angry mob that is reported to have tried to topple Katil's vehicle. The activists also heckled RSS leader Kalladka Prabhakar Bhatt, and State Minister V. Sunil Kumar. These developments forced Chief Minister Bommai to reassure the protesting workers that the Yogi model of governance will be implemented in the state. In an embarrassing turn of events, ABVP activists barged into the house of Karnataka Home Minister Araga Jnanendra in Bengaluru, demanding a ban on PFI for its role in the killings of Hindu activists. The anger of BJP workers, which poured out into the streets of Karnataka, is widespread in other parts of the country as well. The manner in which BJP workers in West Bengal were virtually abandoned by the party leadership after the assembly elections leaves a bitter taste not only in the mouth of party workers, but also the sympathizers as well. Analysts point out that neither Prime Minister Modi nor Home Minister Amit Shah had the gumption to deal with the violence that was unleashed on BJP workers and sympathizers and their families in the state. Ghastly stories emerge from West Bengal as corroborated by State Governor Jagdeep Dhankar, now the NDA Vice President nominee, as recently as about three weeks ago at the India Today conclave in Delhi. The net result is that BJP workers in West Bengal feel abandoned by their party leadership and as many political analysts have predicted, the impact of this sense of resentment in the party cadre will be felt in the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. In Kerala, BJP workers find themselves feeling threatened constantly because of the nexus between CPM workers and extremists from jihadist groups both of whom target BJP and RSS workers in the state. Why is it that Prime Minister Narendra Modi never refers to the killings of innocent people like Kanaya Lal in Udaipur, Umesh Kohle in Amravati of Maharashtra or Praveen Nettaru? This is a common question asked by BJP workers, sympathizers and commentators alike. The passivity and indifference of the leadership is being seen as taken for granted when it comes to Hindu voters because of whom the BJP is in power at the centre and in most states of the country. Some analysts say that they wish to see Yogi in Modi and not Nehru in him. If Modi is concerned about his image on the global stage, it cannot come at the cost of his image in India. Course correction is the most imperative need of the hour and PM Modi should start with a ban on PFI, even if it means that it could surface again in the form of another organization, 
as was the case after SIMI was banned. Only then will BJP workers and Hindu activists be in Karnataka or West Bengal or Rajasthan or Telangana or even Kerala feel secure. This is MS Purthi for Orange News 9 TV.